Hi everyone, my name is Patience and I want to tell you about a book I just read for this class but it's really fun and I wanted a bit of a challenge. It has 317 pages so hopefully I can get all the information in to this video as possible. Um, so the book I chose was Adam of the Road by Jeanette Gray, Elizabeth Jeanette Gray and the illustrators by Robert Lawson. Um, this book is really fun. I personally think the characters are set in like 13th century England. Um, the main character and his father are minstrels, which means they entertain kings and nobles. So that's really interesting to me that they're kind of the low, low end, uh, middle to low end of the um, English people. Um, and I kind of wanted to tell about the illustrations. They're ink and they're outlined in black. So, um, but I wanted to show you a couple examples of the illustrations here. If I can get, okay. This one's my favorite because it kind of shows us the strength of this war horse that was given to Adam's father and the road that they're traveling on. Um, one of the main themes in this book um, centers around the fact that the home for minstrels is the road. So it kind of gives an idea of what that is like. And there's Adam's cute little dog right there. His name is Nick. <laughs> so as you go through this story, like before each chapter, there is a picture kind of leading into the chapter, giving, <clears throat> giving you an idea of what is coming. So I think that's really interesting. Um, the plot is of a boy who travels with his father on the road as a minstrel, but also, um, at one point somebody steals his dog, and then he loses his father in pursuit of his dog, so it's really sad that he, he loses everything he has that he owns and that he loves, and so it takes him the remainder of the book to find, um, his father and dog, so... This has been um, a really fun, interesting book, full of adventure, really intriguing to young students. But the activity that I personally would love for them to try would be, since they are older students, if they could read a book like this, I personally would like them to try making a map of the actual places that Adam has been. So in order to do this, I'll have them research the actual place and maybe print off a map and be like, okay, Adam traveled here and then he went here and um, kind of reflect back on the story, giving them an idea of what geographic places he was at and where he really traveled to try to find his father. If, if the river is real that he swam across or any of those little things that add up. So I think that would be fun for students. Um, my personal experience in regards to this book, it kind of reminded me of just like loving the people you have that are close to you because even in the best circumstances like Adam, he was in a really good circumstance when the book started, but then everything went wrong really fast. So my suggestion would be to just love those people that are closest to you, um, enjoy the time you have with them and be there for them when they need you. So. Thank you for listening in on my little spiel on Adam of the Road.